Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature toilet for your dollhouse. Both the seats open and close, and the tank lid comes off as well. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up or a comment below, and I really hope you enjoy. The best thing about this particular project is it uses only three coffee stir sticks and a bunch of leftover wood scraps from previous projects. I'm going to start by putting some of the coffee stir sticks in some water. I want to leave them for 24 hours, but I did use some of them before that time period. And then I'm using first a piece from an extra Dremel popsicle stick. This is the one that's about seven inches long. And I used a piece that was about an inch and three quarters. Then I used my first coffee stir stick that was already soaked. And I wrapped that around the top from a paint bottle. The reason I'm using this top is it's about an inch in diameter, the same as the sticks. So wrap it, twist it, and allow it to dry. Now most of the sticks that I use during this video are going to be wet when I use them. And that's the way I prefer to do so, but you can do it this method as well. This way it dries in a curve, and all I have to do is to glue it to the stick to form the base. I cut off another piece from another extra Dremel popsicle stick that was about an inch in length and I glued that in place as well. Then I used four tips from extra Dremel popsicle sticks and all of them are about an inch long and I'm going to cut these off until they're a little over three quarters of an inch. Draw a trapezoid shape going inward, a little narrower than the stick and then you want to dip it in the center. And cut all four of those pieces out. Then glue them together to form a box. And of course, since all the pieces are trapezoids, they're going to show form a 3D trapezoid box with the base being wider than the top. And once dry, you can glue that on top of the base. You'll notice that I sanded off the edges of these just to smooth them out and to round them slightly. Then, to form the bowl of the toilet, I'm using some scrap balsa wood from my pool table and from my bathtub. This is the 3 and 32 inch uh, piece, so it's fairly wide as far as balsa goes, but it's still very, very thin. And then I shaped an oval out of paper to fit directly over the top of the base. And then I traced that same oval onto my sheet of balsa and then cut that piece out and then trace that piece onto another piece of balsa and then cut that piece out and on and on until I had four pieces. Then for the last one, I trace that onto a piece of balsa, but this time instead of cutting it out, I extended it a little bit and I ended up extending it about an inch and a half to form a small paddle. Now for the inside of the toilet bowl, I'm going to have a little piece of straw here and this is just to give this the illusion of the toilet going back where the waste would go. Um, of course, the step is completely optional, but if you choose to do so, it does add a little more detail to your toilet. And I'm going to use another piece of straw to gently drill a hole into the balsa. That's how soft the balsa wood is. I've reserved the piece that I drilled out 
and put that to the side. And then I glued the straw into the smallest seat where I had the hole punched and glued the little tip from the wood onto that. Then with the other seats, I cut out small circles on the inside. Then I began to glue those pieces together with the smallest one at the bottom and the larger pieces at the top. And you can start to see how a toilet is starting to take place there. So I'm going to go on ahead and sand off that entire middle section just to round out the curve of the bowl. I'm using a nail file on the outside and on the inside I'm using a skewer stick wrapped with some sandpaper the same as I use for my pool table video. And then finally, this is an optional step as well. Again, it just adds a little more detail. With that last piece, trace the bottom of the other bowl set and then use your X-Acto knife to just kind of pick out a little bit of wood. Just a couple of layers. Then glue that piece to the bottom and you can sand that off as well to form the rest of the bowl. And then sand out that top paddle part and you can glue that to the top of the bowl. And then I use one of the wet coffee stir sticks and just super glue that all along the base directly under the large paddle shape. Then glue that entire assembly onto the base. I use the remainder of the stick that I used for the bowl and flex that just a little bit and then I glued it in place toward the end of the paddle part and the end of the base. Then I use some jumbo popsicle stick pieces to form the side panels. Just simply trace the outside of the curve and then you can see there's a small space on the inside. You're going to want to trace the inside of that too. Cut out two of each piece. and then glue them together to form a panel. Glue the panels in place on either side of, coffee, of the coffee stir stick. And then you can use your file or your sanding tool to smooth out that section. Finally, I use several little pieces from Jumbo Popsicle Sticks and cut them down to one and one eighth of an inch. Then I glue those together into a box. Then I also cut out a small panel to form the bottom. And I use my file to round out the edges, the same as I did with the base. You can also use a little wood putty to cover up the seams. And then cut a small piece that would fit over the top. This isn't going to line up all the way to the side, so we're going to use these coffee stir stick scraps to build it up a little bit. This is going to make it a little wider and a little longer. Then I use my last wet coffee stir stick to make the sides of the lid. Put the lid on top of your tank and it's not going to stick on there so you're going to have to hold it in place. And then just glue the coffee stir stick to the lid part only. Then I use the pen to trace only the top portion of the seat and do that twice and go ahead and close it off at the top.
And then on one of the pieces, you want to draw an inside. Cut both pieces out and sand them. Finally, I painted my toilets white. And then I used a little bit of a glue gun and a yellow glue stick so you guys can see. And I glued a pipe shape on there. To make the hinges, I cut pieces from an aluminum pie pan and cut them into little strips. Then I cut off a small piece from a head pin. I formed loops around the head pin with the aluminum strips. And although I made five, I only used three. And then I cut off tiny little fragments from a stir stick and glue them on either side of the elongated part of the paddle. Glue the head pin directly on top with three of the aluminum strips on it. And if you flip one of the strips back, you'll have two strips facing forward. Glue those to the bottom seat. And then flip that other piece forward and glue those to the bottom of the lid. Then you can glue the tank onto the top. And for the handle, I'm simply using an end of a toothpick. Glue all into place and make sure you give it a couple of good coats of varnish. That's it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye bye.